morning, thank you for joining me. I hope everybody's well today. Do I look like I've got a spider plant growing out the top of my head? I feel like I do a little bit. I definitely haven't, it's just on that shelf there. Not great positioning, Caroline, was it? Um, today, I have a favourites video for you. I think I say almost every single time I film one of these, if not every single time, that these are some of my favourite videos to film and indeed to watch. I love a good favourites video. I've got my cup of coffee and my penguin mug, which was from Marks and Spencers a few years ago. And it feels like the right... I drink out of this all year, let's be honest, but it just feels like the right time of year to be drinking out of this. It's got a little bit of a chill in the air this morning out there as I film this. Anyway, I have got today some beauty products, um, a couple of sort of clothing items, um, a TV recommendation, a new thing for my home, an interior design thing possibly you call that, I guess, and an app. So let's make a start. We will start as ever with beauty. I've got some lower end and some higher end stuff. Everything as far as I can, I should say, will be linked in the description box below. So if you want any more information or to see where things are available from, click through from those links. First of all, on the beauty front, I would like to recommend this primer from Makeup Revolution, or Revolution Beauty are they called now? I never quite know what their name is. It's called the Revolution Glow SPF 25, and they call it a makeup serum. Showed this in a haul, a Makeup Revolution little haul I did a while ago, and I um, thought, that's a strange name. It threw me a bit, the fact it was called a makeup serum, but it is indeed a primer, and I took this on holiday with me because it has an SPF 25 in. The idea being that I could potentially just pop some of that on my face if I didn't want to do a full face makeup and um, I'd have an SPF 25, which probably isn't high enough. I generally use a 30 on my face, but whatever. Um, this was actually a really nice product. It comes in a pump dispenser like that. It's white and it rubs in really nicely and it feels quite hydrating and it, it meet, there's no white cast, which I like. Um, sometimes with SPF products, you do have a bit of a white cast, don't you? And it's um, it has like a, almost like a tacky finish. It doesn't quite dry down, which is nice for putting makeup on top of. I found put the fa putting foundation on top of that doesn't ball up or anything. It just um, sort of sits there quite nicely, giving you a nice glowy skin. And it definitely um, seems to grip the makeup. I found that my makeup lasted well with it. So that is a recommendation number one today. The next product is a recommendation born out of desperation. <laughs> It is this conditioner by Temple Spa. I'll get my face out and see if I can get that to focus. There we are. Um, it is called the Everyday Hair Conditioner. Now, I went, this back in the summer, went on a mini break away with some friends to a hotel that had a spa and we had a lovely swim and went back to the showers in the spa to um, wash my hair and have a shower and there was no conditioner in there and I hadn't bought any conditioner with me. <laughs> so... I went and purchased the only conditioner available because my hair, when you've been swimming and got chlorine in your hair and your hair's so tangly, just, I couldn't live without conditioner. Um, so I went and bought this one and it was, I think it was about £10. I don't think it was, I thought it was going to be horribly expensive. <laughs> this hotel was right out in the countryside. There was no um, shops within a million miles of it. So it was really a desperation purchase because it was the only bottle of conditioner or tube of conditioner possible to get. This is a really lovely conditioner. Um, I, don't, I don't even know if it's possible to buy it online. I'll have to look it up and if it is, I will link it because um, I think it is a spa brand, Temple Spa, but it was a surprisingly nice conditioner. It doesn't have a particularly strong smell. It detangles really nicely. It doesn't make my hair feel heavy. Just really enjoyed using this. So yeah, I just wanted to flag that as a nice conditioner if you are in the market for such a thing. A desperation purchase that ended up being quite a good one. Next, I have been using this Pixie 
cream day cream moisturizer it's the rose ceramide cream and i've been using this for about a month or so now and this is lovely i've been using it as a daytime moisturizer the writing's coming off the bottle a bit i just noticed that tube um but what a lovely moisturizer it has got the faintest rose fragrance i like a bit of fragrance in my skincare i like to feel the enjoyment of putting it on i think fragrance really adds to that however it's a it's really moisturizing it feels as though it's doing nice things to my skin particularly as we got we've gone into the colder weather we've got the central heating on and your skin's getting dry and dehydrated and all of those things this has felt lovely but as well as being so moisturizing and plumping and just generally feeling like it's really hydrating my face it's light I, I, it's different it's not a heavy cream at all very often when you need to counteract that dryness and dehydration you tend to use the thicker creams in the daytime i really don't like a thick moisturizer so this has just been lovely but i would definitely be buying this again i very very much like this and i think pixie i don't know what the price is but i think pixie is pretty much mid price uh, obviously i'll link it below anyway but um, i think it's sort of mid price um range so not horribly expensive Although the next item, let's be honest, is horribly expensive. <laughs> this came in my Liberty Advent calendar last year. It is a perfume and it is called Dear Polly. I remember trying it at the time and I can't remember what I said about it. I think I probably said I quite liked it. And then it went into the cupboard with my other perfumes and I probably forgot about it for the best part of a year. Um, I got it out again recently and the, when I went to... Um, Tewkesbury and Bath actually I took this for me because I wanted a smallish perfume to take with me and I very much like this it's absolutely lovely um, it's been a real grower but I'll just spray a little bit now which I probably shouldn't do it's, it's just it's really I'm rubbish at describing fragrances but I really like this it's maybe a bit woody honestly don't take my word for it <laughs> if i was a good youtuber you see i'd have looked it up made notes and been able to tell you what the top notes the base notes and all of that jazz were but all i can say is i just like it and then i did look it up this is probably why i didn't find out the top notes and the base notes because i was so shocked a full size of this perfume is 185 pounds <laughs> so this is a bit of a tongue-in-cheek recommendation because whilst i am sure there are those of us who would go out and spend 185 pounds on a bottle of perfume that they liked i'm not sure that i'm one of them <laughs> I, I don't think i could bring myself to spend that much on it it's lovely <laughs> but oh my goodness so i will um continue to stalk ebay for perhaps a well-priced version of it or oh, not version of it of well well priced um listing for it <laughs> bearing in mind that of course perfumes do can be fake as well on ebay but it really is lovely very nice indeed they sell it in liberty i don't know where else but um if you get the chance to go and have a squirt do so see what you think let me know if you do the final product in beauty that i wanted to recommend is this I have been getting very, very dry skin, particularly on the front of my calves. And I was finding, you know, when it, it goes scaly, that sort of scaly dry skin, and none of the body creams I used were helping it at all. It just, it would disappear for a half an hour or so, and then it would come back. And I found this at the back of the cupboard, and I thought, oh, I'll give that a go. Not a great one for body oils. This is the Dove Derma Spa Uplifted. Um, satin smooth body oil it's called and I've been using it for about three weeks every evening that's how much I've used so it's um, you don't need an awful lot of it um, and from the first use it sorted out my scaly calves <laughs> immediately so I am very impressed with this the downside of this is I think dr that Dove, 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 Dove. I think that Dove have discontinued this, unfortunately, because I can't find it um, other than on eBay for about £16, which I think is probably quite pricey for that. However, I have found the same thing, but an argan oil version, so it's a yellow one rather than a blue one, um, 
on Amazon for 4 99 which I think is a good price. I would buy it at 4 99 again for sure. Um, so I've linked that one below. But yeah, this is, this is really good. And the nice thing about this, the way, reason I don't like a body oil uh, generally is that I always moisturise before I get into bed in the evening and I don't want the oiliness to soak into the sheets. However, this, as soon as you put it on, seems to almost be like a water texture rather than an oil texture it's really difficult to explain it smells lovely as well but it certainly doesn't need a long time to soak in and it's just so nourishing on my calves it's brilliant i use it all over my legs now hoping it'll get rid of my cellulite as well but <laughs> probably not <laughs> anyway that's it for beauty god i've done 11 minutes already verbal diarrhea let's talk about two clothing type things um the first one, I've got nothing to hold up. I'm going to show you the picture from the Amazon list because I'm not holding up my underwear on the internet. There are some places you don't go, aren't there? These are comfort shorts. I bought these back in the early summer this year. I have tried many iterations of these over the years um, for ladies of a larger size. We all know the problems of thigh chafe. And it's not nice, is it, when you're wearing a dress or a skirt in the summer and it's warm and your thighs rub together. Just not nice. And as I say, I've tried many of different brands and types of these over the years. And the reason that I wanted to recommend these ones is that they are so lightweight, they are so comfortable, they're not like... Um, they, they hold you in a little bit, they have the feeling of holding in, but then certainly not like shapewear that heavy, thick, difficult to get on. They're, they're just the best ones I've ever tried. I think they come in different colours. I've got them in the nude, but I think they come in black and white as well. And I wore them all summer, and I wear them in the winter as well if I'm wearing a skirt or a dress without tights, but that's not quite unlikely in the winter. But um, yeah, I really recommend these. If you, if you are in the market for something like that, these are definitely the best I've tried, and I have tried many. The other clothes item I want to recommend is a new pair of slippers. Now, for those of those those of you who have been watching me since this time last year, when I recommended these slippers, rest assured I have not fallen out with these. They are lovely and I love them and they are still pretty much as good as new. The reason I liked these slippers, for those who didn't see it, was I wanted a pair of slippers that I could go outside in. When I go outside to get my eBay stock or put stock out there, I have to go across a little outside patio and I wanted a hard ridge sole like this. Um, but not only have these got that, they come in all sorts of different colours as well. And they're soft, soft, soft. They're like a suede type fabric and they're f um, furry inside as well. And they are so comfortable and so well made. I really like these. I will link these below as well as the other ones that I'm going to show you. Definitely still loving these a year later. However, because the weather has been so mild, when I've had my slippers on a lot of the time, they're too hot. They make my feet too hot. So I wanted something that would be a slipper, but able to go outside, but not so not full coverage on the foot. And I decided to try these. Again, these are from Amazon. Um, these are brilliant. I love them. They've got a nice sturdy sole again which I can go outside with. They've got the little furry bit on the front, which is not fur underneath. It's like a nylon-y type fabric, I guess. But it's a peep toe, so cool. Let Less coverage, you know. But the best thing is it's got this um, shaped sole, so you're not just on a flat, flat bed. And it, they're so comfortable. Honestly, I could wear these all day. They're so, so comfortable. They're not hard at all. They're plastic, but they're not hard at all. They're, um, they've got like almost a squishy gel bit there I, I can't tell you how comfortable these things are i just love them and they keep my feet cooler um these also come in loads and loads of different colors so i will link below if you're interested in those do love me some slippers in the winter i really do now moving on um tv i want to recommend i did mention this in my live last week um show trial currently available on the bbc iplayer it's a uk drama it's a crime drama i guess crime stroke legal drama five parts five um individual 
episodes episodes part same thing and just so well acted such an engaging story um if you like a good drama i think you will like show trial well worth a try um home now i haven't got it but i have photographed it i bought myself from matalan at this plant holder i think it was 19 pounds i'll try and find it and link it below if it's on their website a lot of the stuff in their store doesn't seem to be on the website i don't know why matalan sort it out um it's very annoying but i bought this because it had that sort of 70 60s 70s vibe which um Obviously our house was built in the 1960s originally and at our lounge we are very much trying to recreate that era as we go through the house and um, decorate and the, the different rooms. God, I feel like I can't produce a sentence. <laughs> that was hard, wasn't it? Um, let me have a sip of coffee, that might help. I wasn't in the market for a plant holder at all. I was just in Matalan with Ashley. I saw it, I said, oh, do you like that? I think that's really nice. And he said, yeah, I do actually. So we bought it and very pleased with it. I've got a spider plant in it, as you will see from one of the pictures that I'm gonna show you while I'm talking to you about it. Final thing I want to recommend is an app. Now I worked, a couple of people asked me when I recently did a thing about apps um, to where the links were. It's difficult to link apps because depending on what phone you've got, you've, there's different app stores and the, the links won't be the same. So I've got an iPhone, so um, I would automatically go to the iPhone app store, but I assume this app is available in any app store. It is called Get Sorted. I'll pop the little logo in here so you can see it. And it's, it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> but it is an app for decluttering your photos on your iPhone and somehow this app makes it so much easier to go through your photos and get rid of the duplicates and the bins you didn't want and uh, I'm sorry bin the ones you didn't want I'm reading the text my mother's just sent me up every time I forget to turn my phone off anyway it, it Go, it sort, helps you sort through your photos. It gets rid of the duplicates and the ones you don't want. And it does them in batches of 25, so it's really doable. And um, what it let, it, it's free initially, and you get a good chance to try it out. Um, and then it will ask you for 3 99 if you want to carry on using it. I thought 3 99 was an absolute bargain, because by the time it, I think it gives you you can sort so many photos or so many months worth of photos or something, I can't remember. But I thought 3 99 was well worth it. It's really helping me sort out my photo library. It's um, a very, very good app and I will rarely pay for, sorry, I really ought to, um, I, I, I will very rarely pay for an app. I feel, I never feel very happy about paying for an app, but this one is good. Also no adverts on it, which is brilliant because adverts, Generally, adverts drive me mental, but adverts on apps drive me even more mental. Anyway, that's it for this one. I haven't recommended any books because I've hardly been reading since I got back from holiday. And um, yeah, I haven't re read anything that I would want to recommend. The two that I've read have been pretty average. So yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any recommendations for me, let me know in the comments. I always like your recommendations and to try new things. So thank you very much for watching. All the info in the description box. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.